Hey guys, welcome to a new video of Exile Survival. How are we going guys? It's been a while since I played this game and I really wanted to wait for the new update that came along. Now it's been out for a couple of days now so I just want to get my way in on it and go through the update with you so um, hopefully you guys will appreciate that and we will get back into it. So uh, right now this is basically it the largest update that Exile Survival has had. I believe it is now global, so everyone should have the ability to download the game from the respected App Store, Google Play or iOS, and be able to enjoy this one. So what we've got here is just a few things that have been added into the game. Uh, see if we can get to the notes over here. So, like I said, it's been over a month since the last um, bits and pieces that have been added through into the game, and then as you can see, um, a little bit further beyond that. So let's have a look into here and we'll have a bit of a quick read and there are a couple of additions on the Facebook page if it doesn't cover anything here. So what we've got is um, the following barbarians. Winter has come and brought huge changes in our game. We've done a lot of work and made your fights even more dynamic and brutal. Attack speed is increased, monsters at the locations were remade. We are trying to give them um, express tempers. Some are weak and die after a couple of hits, but walk in groups, others are strong and tough and require some special tactics. Of course, it wouldn't be so intensing if we didn't revise the skill system a lot. You'll experience some notable changes in the uh, old skills and completely new abilities. We hope you like these new options for your character's growth. New endurance parameter will replace hunger and thirst. Its scale is placed right under the health points. Uh, you'll spend endurance by using active skills and restore by returning home. Of course, it's not the only way to recover. Food and drinks will repl uh, replenish endurance and health. Though the character can't eat or drink endlessly, watch the stomach icon near the health bar. Although the barbarian becomes hungry with time, several minutes later you'll be able to feed him again. And to recover during a fight, use elixirs. They don't fill hunger and will, sorry, work faster. That simple food. Well, sorry, and work faster than, uh, than, okay, I'm sure that's a bit of a typo there. Unfortunately, the alchemy ingredients aren't easy to find. Alchemy, yes, a new craft in the game. Alchemy workbench is hidden in the ancient dungeon. Someday you'll be able to clear the way to other abandoned benches and crafts, and maybe even descend into an ancient power source. So, a lot to take away from there. The biggest call out for me is the revamped skill system, which we're going to have a look at in a moment. But a couple of things I wanted to touch on as well, the, the, the food and drink parameters have been updated, um, redesigned with some of the enemies and also the gaming mechanics for you to hit other enemies have been changed and tweaked, which is amazing. What I would suggest that you guys do as well while we're on the subject please head over to their Facebook developer page. I believe I do have it in this uh, description. I'll make sure of that. Have a look and have a look at some of the later posts that they have added onto their page. Now, they have been proactively adding updates and information pieces uh, via posting um, on that development page there. So do check it out. There has been a number of posts that has been made um, in the last couple of weeks. So the, they do go into depth about the upcoming locations, what are they like and things like that. Uh, the endurance system for your stamina, um, so your active skills as well. I'm just sort of skimming through some of the posts that have been made. Naturally the, um, the mega skill system that they've sort of gone through as well, which I sort of really want to focus on myself because I think you guys will be more interested to sort of know how that sort of works. Um, so I'm going to open up that post now and where is it? There we go. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. So basically, um, what they've sort of done is they've sort of made this go hand in hand with a few bits and pieces. So it hasn't really changed on the, um, on uh, face value, but if you sort of dive into it, you're going to notice that things have changed. Now, I've actually um, had all my skills being reset back to me. 
and I would believe that everyone else has had the same thing happen to them. So if that's happened to you, please don't freak out. Um, you've got your skill points there so you can reinvest back into what you want to do, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead and look into axes. So there's a little bit um, going on here at the moment. I'm still trying to work it out myself as well. But as you can see, you've got three starting points here, some of which go right over to the um, to the next parameter and some of them may get unlocked if you increase um, based on, uh, sorry, if you level up and obtain more skills. So there are a few things here. You've got accuracy, you've got chop boost, you've got damage, um, fierce hit boost, um, and then you've got cuts and cut special so there are some um, uh, different little tweaks that you can do um, if you sort of take a look into it now they know they, they did mention a few things as well so I figured I'll just sort of go through um, everything beforehand and then we sort of elaborate a little bit further okay so you got your sword elements here so these are a few bits and pieces here that you can see Again, take the time to have a bit of a read and make sure what you invest in is the right thing based on you and your character. Um, and then so on and so forth, so forth here. So you've got two-handed weapons here as well, just to sort of give you a bit of an idea. Um, you've got health as well, so which is kind of neat. Uh, determination, that's pretty cool. And then you've got your armor skill set as well, which is quite interesting as well. Heavy armor, light armor, all that sort of stuff. So, what I would probably say at the beginning, before you sort of start throwing skill points into the system here, and if you guys are needing to reset, I believe you have to still purchase coins uh, to do just that. So, before you go ahead and dive right in, have a bit of a read on the Facebook page that they did. Now, at the time of this, uh, this recording here, they did um, post this on December 14th, 2019. So, do check that out if you have the time but i'm going to read a few things here while we've got you guys at the minute so basically um, i'll start with the axes here at the moment um, so the axes are the tree that combines two roots one-handed and two-handed axes you can improve both skills by leveling up one basic tree uh, perfect for those who love strong and furious attacks swords also combine one-handed and two-handed swords this tree improves all sword skills boost hit accuracy and causes critical damage and bleeding of the enemies maces is a skill tree that combines two-handed one-handed maces provides protection good at breaking armor and weakens the enemy cobra style improves dual weapon hits and provides dodge while using dual weapons and counter attacks dual weapons improves passive skills hits and active skill push increases the vitality and allows you to hit harder after misses yes there will be misses too uh, light armor there is a choice of those who want uh, wants to dodge better give critical hits back and bounce off the enemy stopping the fight normal armor are good for those who love strong hits and becomes furious when being damaged normal armor can strengthen you and weaken the enemies uh, with a battle cry and then you've got heavy armor that allows you to survive numerous damage and give you second breath in grave danger and restores a part of your health and then at the moment at the bottom they've got nice bonuses to activate armor skill you just need to put on any three elements of the same armor kind if you start playing with the old skill tree don't worry you'll keep all of your skill points and you'll be able to distribute them to the new trees and test new skills um, so on and so forth so so you've got a few things to sort of consider as well so what I would recommend is you guys definitely want to check out um, the type of weapons that you have available to you and how these weapons are going to sort of work for you because you may not be a person that want to use uh, swords or maces or you guys might want to be um, more interested in utilizing dual armor so things like this that you sort of need to sort of you know take into consideration before you sort of make a commitment to one tree or a couple of trees and then basically you take it from there um, so what we're going to do is I'll probably just jump into a basic zone. I don't want to go to a level 4 just yet. I'm oh, sorry, a level 10. So I want to go over to a level 4 just in case. And I just want to see how this um, differs between now and previous updates, how it sort of looks and feels. Now, I haven't actually invested any time and effort into a skill tree just yet because I want to get a feel for what I feel that might be a suitable 
um, tree option. And then from there, I'd probably work myself based on that. Now, it is loading additional resources here at the moment, so I'm just waiting for all that to go through. It won't be too much longer, hopefully. Um, now, hence the reason why that I've only literally just got into the update myself. So this literally dropped for me. Um, this would have been yesterday, I, I would have imagined. Um, and then I noticed the update today. So, um, yeah, so basically what we've got here is... Um, Every time that I believe that you might go into a different zone for the first time, you might find this type of um, uh, loading attribute before you go ahead and do anything. So as we sort of come in now, um, for right now it sort of seems and feels the same. It doesn't look like we've got anything that's changed. Um, I've noticed right away that the, um, the attack on this is a lot more heavier than what it was in the past. And as you can see, it's actually a lot more faster than what it was in previous updates. And that was a big annoyance for me because I feel like the game felt very laggy. Um, initial impressions right now, it feels so much more fluid now that they've sort of increased the speed attack um, of your player here. So this I really like. Um, so I'm definitely a fan of this. Um, I probably didn't want to sort of aggravate all these guys here all at the one time. So let's quickly run out, dive back in, and uh, let's see if we can just sort of annoy one of these guys at a time. So if I could just sort of get one one guy's attention, here we go. And then let's whoop, turn around, and let's just go and hit him off. Now they did mention um, in this as well that they've addressed the issue with the um, durability of weapons. So I'm hoping that this is actually um, put through to the game as well. So as we're playing it now, um, I hope I see that notable difference as well because that was a really big pain stank um, in playing the game in the earlier stages that you just couldn't sustain um, weapons for a certain amount of time. Oh, skull, nice. Um, but yeah, so far so good. And as you can still see, you do need to be directing your attention to the enemy in front of you before you can actually... Ooh, what's that? That's cool. Definitely taking that with me, just in case if I need it. Um, but yeah, so if, from what I can see now, it looks... See, I'm still not used to the combat system myself, but... As you can see here, I'm just sort of making... Minor progressions here and there. Let's just get out of his way, out of all the other people's way there. And you can see he's doing a lot of critical damage here. I haven't even opted into a skill tree yet. So, like I said, I'm not too sure how I sort of want to do this. I might do the sword attribute and go down that skill tree set and um, sort of take it from there. Dual weapons are great, don't get me wrong, but I don't know. I just feel like that, um, there's going to be some sort of disadvantage here. Uh, learn how to create this item and make it available in the craft table. Ooh, okay, that's a pretty good find. I think that's pretty awesome. So, yeah. So, what do you think of the new combat system? If, if To me, it feels a lot more fluid. Um, it doesn't feel as clunky anymore as it was back in the past. So, for that reason there, I think I'm happy with what I see here at the moment. Oops, let's just quickly get out of this way. He has a bit of a... Oh, there we go. So I've broken one of my weapons there. Not to worry, once this goes out, um, I'll be able to swap over. But so far, um, like I said, I think I'm liking what I see here at the moment. Um, we've got this little bomber guy. He is super annoying. Um, he was actually really annoying at the beginning. So you sort of have to just wait until he stops kind of thing. And see if you can try and get a hit off on him. And he's, he does have a bit of a um, bit of a HP limit on him, so if I can just keep hitting him here, um, oh damn, that wasn't good. Okay, so let's just jump over here, wait for him to stop, and we should be able to take this guy out. Not a problem. Oh, we missed that, that one there. Ah, uh, come on, buddy. I just keep moving here, and if he just stays put, I should be able to get him one more time. There we go. 
and let's just pick up what he's got there fantastic and let's run over to the end of the map over here grab what's in this um, little chest and we've got some high pants which is good and if there's anything else around here I'll probably grab but what we can see there is a whole bunch of copper here so you probably want to come back later on with, with a pickaxe possibly an axe as well just for trees and things like that just to grab everything that you got over here and we've got one more fella here he's um, guarding uh, the final chest that we've got over here he's actually taking a bit out of my health here Bit, bit of a chunk here, so let's just see if we can just heal on the fly. And okay, so he was a bit of a tough customer. What's this bronze plate? Ooh, okay, so what I'll do is I'm gonna get rid of that and add that to my inventory. Let's see what's in this chest, and what do we got here? The leather plate. So these are a few other little bits, bits and pieces here. So gonna grab that and let's just quickly suss out if there's anything else around here that I may have missed just in case just quickly heal up along the way as well um, okay so what do we have here I think I've looted this yes I have so that's pretty much the zone itself so as you can see, a couple of, a couple of new enemies that do, had that have made their way into the game um, because a couple of those weren't there beforehand, um, the ones that we just went through, except for the bomber. The bomber was one that um, that was there beforehand. And from there, we've got um, basically our new update in a nutshell. I'm just going to quickly have a look and see if there's anything else that was added on their development page, just so I can sort of provide you that information as well. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, so new, new new locations in the upcoming update. What are they like? Um, so there is a dungeon for us to look out for. So I'm really interested in trying to um, find that. And, and I think in the dungeon, that's where you've got access to the alchemy table, I believe. So I think that's something that would be a... Um, oh, yep. Uh, you need to sort out the Warlock's work desk. Okay. So there's a work desk that you need before you, uh, you need to sort of utilize before you can get the alchemy table. And you can find the alchemist lair. Um, okay, so you've got your own lab and things like that. Again, definitely check out the Facebook page, guys, because I think that's where you're going to find all your information in one place. But basically, as you can see, there's a lot more going on in the over map here. So you can actually see a few more events that have popped up. There's the Alchemist Tower there. I might actually do that in another video. Just want to sort of uh, touch base and just let you know that it is there. So it is a, available through uh, the over map. So it will pop up and all that sort of good stuff. Really interested in going into the Horde of Cannibals. Um, I think I probably need to get some armor uh, for my play here and a decent weapon before I actually venture out into that uh, zone there and uh, some obviously some heals as well at the same time. Uh, Lair of the Ulf, um, Lair of Ulf the Striped, I guess, level 6. And you would have noticed the level 4 zone wasn't actually that easy either. So there was a few tough customers in there that sort of came in and um, pose a threat so do definitely take a bit of caution when sort of running into the zone there because you don't know what you're going to find out and if you're very if you're underprepared and you didn't bring enough weapons or enough heals or you didn't find a decent weapon like I did here um, you might be in trouble so you definitely want to check that out before um, making the trip over there and as you can see I've got a few things here that have um, are pretty much ready to go we can make tin bar there's copper bar there's brick i think tin's a new ingredient that's been added then you've got the bronze which i sort of found in zone so i did want to nap those before i left the zone um here i think the uh, milled wine is new and the broth is available now for us to craft which is good and if we do have a bit of a peak ski over here i've got the 200 copper sword here ready to go so i want to try that out now 
Um, the copper mace was pretty cool as well. Um, in terms of the differences, you will need more um, uh, resources in order for you to use the copper mace. Doesn't do as much damage as the um, sorry, the sword needs a little bit more. Um, sorry. Um, materials as opposed to the mace and the sword doesn't do as much uh, damage as it appears so again it all comes down to the attack speed as well and how fast you're able to utilize the um, uh, the weapon there so I think the one uh, the two-handed sword is a little bit quicker than the mace so keep that in mind um, versus your DPS so your damage per second and all that sort of stuff and then the um, uh, the armor that I've got over here looks like it's just been made the same. I don't think it's been changed as much. Um, the introduction of the heavy stuff, I don't think it was in the previous update either. So a couple little um, additions that have been made into the game here. Quickly go ahead and check out the crafting menu here. Let's see if there's anything that's been changed. You still got all the hide stuff over here. All the basic bits and pieces here. And you got a few other bits and pieces there too. So. All in all, positive update. Looks like they've opened it up now, so the the possibility of expanding is now here, and at least this gives us the ability to um, do what we need to do with the game and progress further in the game. So hopefully, this sets it up um, for a positive future. So, well done to the developers. Happy with this outcome, and I am enjoying the updates. So. Hopefully you guys as well, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the update, how far you guys have progressed, have you done a lot more than what I have, any tips or anything like that, please let me know down in the comment section, really be interested to see uh, what your thoughts are about it, and if you guys can help me out, but also everyone else that might watch the video, that'd be great, drop a like, share the video, two best possible ways of helping out the channel and the video itself. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. I do a lot of other survival games. Please check everything else out. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to get out of here. That's all the time I have for today. So appreciate you stopping by. And I will see you in the next video.